Yeah, Mari, just uh, wanted to check up to see how you're feeling, how that uh, hip is doing, and, and how much of a hindrance was that for you Sunday in Cincinnati, even though you played through it? Yeah, I mean, it's getting better. Um, you know, it's just a part of, you know, playing football in this league. Um, you know, obviously it was a, a hindrance anytime you're not 100%, um, but, you know, you just fight through it and try to be available for, for, for your team. And then uh, as far as Deshaun goes, it looked like uh, he was a little more comfortable out there. Is that something that you were able to to sense? And just uh, how do you think uh, he's coming along? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, again, Deshaun hasn't played um, uh, football games in a very long time. I think with each game rep, he's going to uh, get better and better. So I think that's going to be a, a trend that we'll all see. Um, before our eyes that, you know, with every play, he's going to get better and better. Thanks, Daryl. Mary Kay Cabot is next. Uh, yes, Mari, just wondering in terms of the, um, you know, you said the other night that it was a core muscle issue. Um, sometimes with those other guys that I've talked to that have had that, uh, they kind of get through the season as best they can. And then it's something that kind of needs to be addressed sometimes even surgically after the season. Um, so that's my first question. Do you think there's a chance you might have to have that taken care of in the off season? I don't know. I mean, I don't even really want to think that far ahead. I just want to take it uh, day by day. Um, and, and then we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And then, you know, you're not one to ever really want to take plays off or games off or anything like that. Um, so do you think that this is something that you're going to do your level best to just kind of gut it out and, and get through it for the rest of the season? Yeah. I mean, ideally, you know, you want to, you want to play through something if, if you can, you know what I mean? Um, and so that's, that's always been a type of player. I've always been that type of player, you know, um, if I can fight through something, I'm do my best to do it. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Scott Patrick, you're up. Or why is it so important for you to um, play through injuries? I mean, you're going back through your career, you haven't missed many games at all. Yeah, I mean, just the availability, the availability aspect of things. Uh, I just want to be available for my team. Uh, just want to be accountable. Uh, that's it. And have you had anything like this before that you've had to deal with? Yeah, I mean, I've had different injuries. Um, I was at this point, I've had um, injuries to probably, you know, almost every body part. Um, you know, so I've I, yeah, I've I've had to deal with stuff like this before. I mean, even like the core muscle, have you had that before? Um, I so um, this injury specifically, no, but uh, you know, I've had. Uh, things that I've fought through that felt like this in a, in kind of a similar area, like a growing injury and stuff like that. So, yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Jeff Shadell, your next question. So, Amari, we talk, you, you talked about how Deshaun improved. What, so what, what is the next step for this offense uh, for these next four weeks? Um, I mean, we just want to, you know, be better. Um, you know, obviously, uh, defense play really well. We want to go out there and, and, and put up points, you know, fireworks. Um, we can only do that through execution. Um, and, and that's why we practice. Um, the goal is always the same, you know what I mean? Um, you just got to go out there and accomplish it. Thank you, Jeff. Let's go to Ashley Basta. Hey, Amari. Um, I know Donovan was pretty hard on himself after the game about not making that fourth and goal catch towards towards the end of the game that that hit him in the chest. I guess, like, have you talked to him about that or, or you know, had any conversations about there's not getting like dwelling on that too much or anything along those lines? I haven't talked to him about it, um, <coughs> at least not yet. Um, you know, typically with plays like that. Um, we already know what we should have done. Like, I'm sure right after the play, uh, he'll be the first to tell you that uh, he probably should have um, tried to catch the ball at its highest point, uh, things of that nature. So 
we we kind of know what we have to do. We just got to go out there and do it. Um, and I'm sure that's something that he'll be practicing on more this week. Thank you, Ashley. Back to Mary Kay Kevin. Uh, yeah, Amari, uh, just wondering, what is your mindset as you head into this game on Saturday against the Ravens? I mean, from a mathematical standpoint, you guys don't necessarily have, you know, a very good chance of making the playoffs. But what, uh, how are you approaching this game from a, you know, important standpoint and a how you feel about it standpoint? I just want to win, you know. Uh... You go out there every week with the, the same goal, and that's that's to win the game. You know, we're all professional athletes. We're all competitor. Uh, and when we're out there on the field, you know, we, we, we try to win our individual matchups because we, we understand how important that matchup is to uh, win in that play and eventually win in the game. So that's what we try to do. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Scott Patrick, you're up again. Hey, Mari, when you talk about the improvements you see out of Deshaun, like what are some of the specific thing, areas of growth you saw from game one to game two? Yeah, I mean, specifically, it's just, you know, you know, obviously getting that rhythm back. Um, obviously, the timing with us, uh, the receivers, pass catchers, because, you know, he, he just hasn't had that many reps with us. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said before, the more reps he gets with us, um, the more reps he get in the game, that'll help with his rhythm and timing. And when you talk about, you know, the goal is to be explosive. Do you see deep shots from him? I, there haven't been many in these first two games. Do you see that kind of being the next one of the next stages in his growth? Um, for sure. I mean, whether it's a plant deep shot or whether it's a, a play breaking down, that's what so unique, unique about Deshaun's game is when plays break down, he's able to scramble and it escape a would be sack. And then we just play off of him at that point. You got guys going deep, you got guys on the um, uh, going intermediate and guys running short. And, you know, when he escapes the pocket, he can see that guy uh, running free deep and throw it to him. And that's just a part of his game. It's, it always has been. So, you know, as the games go on, as uh, we get more plays under our belt with Deshaun, um, I'm 100% um, sure we'll see more of that. Hey, we just talked to Jack about winning that Ed Black Courage Award. Have you noticed, I mean, I know you were here last year, but he went through that big rehab from that torn patella. Like, did you notice that when he was coming back in the off season and uh, how much work he had to put in? Yeah, uh, that's, um, I noticed it a lot. Like, he was always in the weight room, always in the training room. Uh, I didn't really know him, um, but <coughs> I just saw how big he was, to be honest. I was like, I was like, who is that guy? And he was telling me who he was and, you know, um, what his injury was. And, yeah, I definitely saw all the hard work that he put in um, to try and get back. 